Well, hey, y'all. Well, hi. You know, there, there's a part of me that would love to, like, set up. I just don't know how, like, copyright and stuff would work. But how to set up a, like, reaction thing to where we could play videos like that and just react to them and be funny. Um, well, yeah, it would be funny. Yeah. Well, hey, y'all. Hello. Good Wah evening. Wah <laughs> Ooh. I want to say too much before people get on here because I don't want to. Hey, Kimmy. Hey, Kimmy. Yeah, I don't want to say too, too much. Yeah. I'm going to wait for everybody to get in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Do you mind grabbing my phone? It's in the, back, yeah. in the back, mm. yeah. I'm going to post on my channel. Be kind of So we were eating late dinner because we went out um, with the kids and took them to get cinnamon rolls from a place called Cineholic. And then we had to shop for this week. Then I had to come home and meal prep and cook dinner. So the boys have already eaten. I'm eating actually seconds. And Cody's just not eating because we had to set up. Hello, Victoria's Gardening. Well, um... um the funny part, y'all, I just I just got back. I was on a guy's trip this weekend, got away for a couple of days, which is great. And for all of for everybody out there, whether you get a whether you, you know, a lady getting away with your girls or a guy getting away with your guys, it's needed every once in a while, you know, to refresh and recharge. And and I was gonna tell you, we got done eating. And um, John was like, hey, we should, uh, this is this morning before he was like, hey, what y'all think about watching a movie? And me and Katie look like, after eating all this food, you think we're going to be able to watch a movie? <laughs> I said, that movie going to watch us. We're not watching a movie. But anyway, it was cool to get away with, with the guys. Uh, hey, Dwayne Young, good evening, fam. Love the content and channel. New subscriber. Well, welcome. Oh, hey, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm sending out this to all my people, to all my people in the struggle. You think like <laughs> I'm done. It's mm. I I tell you what, y'all. It's encouraging, and everybody that's watching or is going to watch this or whatever, just want to encourage some of y'all that want to do content. I know Tam, she's the she's the star here, so she popped it off. Sorry, y'all. Literally five months before COVID, you popped it off with the mompreneur plug. Yeah. Oh. And, huh? Yeah, I, I, I didn't want to talk while I was chewing. So she popped it off with the mompreneur plug, and but she always wanted to do the vlogging, like the family vlogging from the beginning. That's that's yeah. the first thing you wanted to do. Yeah, Virtuous Garden. Yeah, I started content, but I'm not consistent because of family. Understood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're not. Look, we're not even as consistent as we want to be. That's yeah. That's partly why we're going live right now, and you're not watching a vlog. <laughs> that's partly why. Yeah. But my, I, the the main point I was making is through this whole content journey, I've always thought, why would somebody just watch us live our life? Like, ain't like we're not that interesting. And this is me thinking. It's like ain't nobody gonna watch us live our life and shout out to y'all who have subscribed and been supporters because I oh, also followed on Instagram. Yeah. Yay. Um, so shout out to y'all that have been supporters. And, and for those of you that have content, Sorry, man is right here drinking some water. Yeah. For those of y'all that are content, have content aspirations yourself, you know, if you like, nobody going to watch me. It's like, you don't know, you don't There's know the audience for everybody. There's an audience for everyone. So, um, that's your baby boy. You gotta hold it, poo-poo. So that was just some, I guess, brief encouragement as it just hit my head. But what I was gonna say was we actually have content for a vlog for this week. Oh yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Um, but um because Cody was out 
on a much needed guy's trip. Um, he was like, do you want me to edit? And I was like, babe, no, like it's already eight o'clock. Like yeah. you're going to be up trying to edit and, and vlogs are not as easy to edit as like my videos where I'm sitting in front of the camera, just talking. Yeah. <clears throat> it's different. So. There's, 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 there's different factors to it, but I was trying to edit this weekend while I was gone, just take time here and time there, not like the whole time away, but I was, the footage didn't want to come off my camera. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so yeah. Hence why Tam was, you know, uh, she was the one that had the idea, which she does well on her channel too. It's like if there's if there's not a video ready, it's like let's just let's just go live. Let's mm-hmm. just have a conversation. So, it's still content. So. Yep. So that's why we're here. And so yeah, um, we're just gonna fill y'all in on what's been going on. Um, it's been a lot. Um. To say the least, mm-hmm. it's been a lot. Um, did you like the mushrooms? It's really good, yeah. Um, Y'all, sis can sis throw down, that's all I'm gonna say. Thank you. Um, I mean, you throw down on a continual basis. That was my point. It's like you just throw down. Um, so thank you, babe. <laughs> it was random. We are coming out. Out of the hills um, on the tail end of what March was a very hectic, crazy month. Um, um, So with everything we had going on, when I tell you, like, it's just been been a whirlwind. Mm -hmm. And if you follow our channel faithfully. You'll see, like, it's been a lot. And, of course, we don't show you everything on the vlog. And it's honestly not even because we're trying to be super secretive. I mean, of course, we have discretion. But, like, it's because yeah. there's so much going on. We don't even, like, have time to pick up the camera. Like, we're just... um. I'm laughing at Kimmy's comment. I'm going to put it on the screen because it's hilarious. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> well... Cool. You know, I love to cook, y'all. Yeah. If y'all didn't know that about me, I love cooking. And it's not even really about eating. It's just the yeah. art of cooking and like putting flavors together and like trying new things. I love it. I think if you had a crew, because it will be too much to do yourself, but if you had a crew that could film you cook and you could just talk through it, you would have a cooking show. Oh. Simple. Mm-hmm. Simple, but you know, you setting up the camera, or even me setting up the camera and doing, I'm going through the different movements and all that. Like, that's a lot. Cook, cooking shows are a lot. Um, but if we just had like a couple people with cameras or somebody with a mic, and you you could like go back and forth in the kitchen and walk through it, man. What N- number one cooking show on YouTube? Because the food would be honestly crazy. Once we get our house and we ha- and I have the island that I want, I can do a cooking show. <laughs> Because what's that, that camera? What's that show? The uh, the Pioneer Woman was watching. What's that oh, show? Yeah, I was obsessed with that for like two point five seconds. Legit. Hi, Minky Dooney. But um, and when, when we get obsessed with shows, they become our nighttime go to bed shows. Yep. And then some nights we just end up staying up and watching. <laughs> That's true. Depending on what kind of night it is. Right. But um. So yeah. So. Coming out the tail end of like a crazy month into a month that kind of started off shaky too. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just like I feel like we getting blow after blow. Excuse me. Um, God is really stretching us as a couple, as mm-hmm. a family, um, individually, too. individually for sure. There's definitely attack an attack on household in the family unit, mm-hmm. the family structure. And it's so funny because I prayed about it with my parents the other night. And then literally our pastor started preaching on it this morning. So I was like, okay, Lord, you're clearly speaking on this. And so for those of you, you know, I want you to um, really be aware of the enemy's devices concerning division in your household. If you're noticing you're bumping heads with your children or bumping heads with your family members, your loved ones, your mom, your dad, um, your husband, your wife. Like, 
pay attention to that because sometimes it could literally be a snare from the enemy, like a trap trying to get yeah. you caught up. And it is so easy to fall into it because it <laughs> y'all hear this boy farting. Get it, boy. He just had so oh well, there's that. He lives there. He oh yeah. Get it, son. I um pureed him some green beans and potatoes. <laughs> And he was pissed because I was not feeding it fast enough. And y'all, and y'all, I promise you, when the Bible said, you know, to be aware of the enemy's devices, I'm pretty sure he got an Android and uh, like an old HP, but he keep adding like a new hard drive and new RAM every time it go down. I'm hey. almost sure those, it said be aware of his devices. That's what he got. Hey, gonna let Cody, you cut your. Yes, I cut it off. I started developing a bald spot, and it got to me. Yep. So this is it. He's not growing it back. This is this oh. is his his head now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Elijah. whole. Other, that look. We might we might turn that conversation into a transparent couch. Maybe. I'm. I don't feel the way I used to though. Really? Mm -mm. Interesting. Okay. That's um, exciting. I hope. It is what it is. Um, hey, say less. <laughs> um, what was I saying, y'all? Kylan pooping over here. Yeah. Threw me off. Well, him farting through you are. Yeah, it did. Mm -hmm. What were we talking about? I made a joke about the enemy's devices. Hey, me. I, don't, I, I can't remember exactly where you were, huh? Okay, but anyway, I was just yeah. talking about just everything. And um, Sorry. yeah, that's what I'm saying. <clears throat> Pay attention to that because it's literally a setup. It's a trap. Yeah. And we can fall into it yep. easily because it's like, oh, it's normal for you to get, you know, get into it with family members, but it doesn't have to be your normal. Mm -mm. How How's, how's your week, week, week been? Um, This week has been up and down. But I can't say that it was a bad week. Mm -mm. We we hit a snare right before Cody left for his guys trip. Yeah. But that was we. But we I think we passed that test because we sat down and we talked through it as a family. Mm -hmm. Um. And so yeah, I think. I think too. This just hit me. Like among families, I think what the enemy does is Are he you still pooping. No way he's doing. But he tries to. He tries to make you. Mm, Tam checking. Come on, mama. Ooh, yeah. He tries to make you um the enemy. <laughs> I don't know if he does this with everybody. I'll just speak for me. He in a sense tries to make it seem like your spouse or even your family member, whoever, like they just are against you. Ooh. Right? Yeah. When in all actuality, they might have a concern and their feelings might be hurt because of a situation. But at the end of the day, we are family and we're not on separate teams. We're on the same team. So we should be able to talk it out mm -hmm. and rationalize it instead of assuming. I think when when you know each other, like we know each other anywhere, like family knows each other, it's easy to assume motive instead of having a conversation. And the easiest way to nip stuff in the bud is to talk about it. <laughs> Ew, Kyla. <laughs> yes. Right. Stinking boy. Stank papa. I actually don't smell anything. It's in there, though, but I don't smell it. Interesting. And you usually be ripe. Mm -hmm. Ain't that right, stank of papa? Smell like, smell like a grown man. Let's see if you look in the camera. Um, Let's see. We got distracted with Colin. Yeah. Colin, look. Kai Pai, look in the camera, Bubba. Of course he's not. He has no idea what a camera is. Look, hey, Bubba, look. Look right look, here. Look. Kai, look. Kai, look right here. <laughs> he said, nope. <gasps> he said, I see a screen, but. When you're done with that, do you mind changing him? I don't know. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> him handsome. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yes, him is. You say thank you. 
Well, he's looking at your chicken. You're not getting no chicken. I told, told you. You already had some green beans and potatoes. You start feeding them food. I'm going to puree it. him some chicken. I make his own baby food. So, so what? far he's had banana, mango. He eats applesauce. I feed him that straight out. The little thing. Did you start that with Carson? Mm -hmm. um, banana, mango. Um, green beans, mashed potatoes, and gravy. From churches. Yeah, I always let them try churches, <laughs> mashed potatoes, and gravy. It's so funny watching them eat it because they be they tear it up. Yep. Um, and then today he had potatoes, like I um seasoned potatoes and green beans for dinner, and so mm -hmm. I just popped him some like whatever we eat. I just popped and puree it for him, and so him got to eat some too. And I think you started a little with CJ, but we had bought some baby food for CJ. But for Carson and Kai, Tams would make it. Mm. Uh, Carson and Kylan have never had baby store bought store bought baby food. Kylan may have so Carson may have had it once or twice when he was at someone else's house. Yeah, but like it was no. He and didn't. Carson has never, at least through the baby, probably up until now. I'm trying to remember, never ate. I mean, never drank milk from a cow. Mm -mm. Of course, he's had he's ate stuff that has dairy in it, but he's yeah. never drunk drunk cow's milk. milk. When he got to a point where he wasn't on the breast anymore, he was drinking almond milk. So, tip his grandma. Colin's been sneaking <laughs> some great Granny <laughs> Jenkins milk, but uh -huh. that's, that's what uh, my friend or our our friend was saying. His nephew Bay uh, got a piece of an oxtail. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> busting it down, piece of an oxtail. I used to mix green beans with applesauce. Yes, yes. I've done that before too. I started to put some applesauce in there. Um, but um, mm -hmm. he's had that. Um, who is that? Just, I, the pictures I sent to. Oh, uh, he's had that. Um, hey, stink a tink, gosh. Um, so tonight he had potatoes and green beans, and he loved it. Turn up. I mean, he busted down. So All right, come on, Bubba Dubs. I'm going to let him do avocado. I used to use avocado. Avocado used to be like my base for everything because it just makes everything creamy. Um, so Say we'll be anyway. back. Why? Look in the camera. Say we'll be back. He was down at my... Literally not paying attention. Is Kylan really trying to read the comments? It looked like it, don't it? I'm trying to read the comments. All right. We'll be back Is back. Kylan really trying to read the comments? Listen, yep. Oh, I just read that. Uh -huh. Trying to do something. But um yeah, so like I said, y'all, it's been a it's been a rough patch here. Um, but like I said, this week was okay. Um, it wasn't terrible, it wasn't great, but um the boys had a decent week at school. I had a decent week at work. Cody had a prop a productive week at work. Um, like I said, Thursday. Cody left Friday to go on his his guy's trip with his best friend, his best friends. Um, and um, so Thursday, ooh, Lord, Thursday, um, we had to sit down and discuss some things, but we got through it. Um, just, we have a lot of goals um, financially, things that we want to do and Got to figure some things out. We got to maneuver some things. And so we appreciate y'all for supporting our sponsor content. Um, you're probably going to see more of that on this page. Because like I said, we got financial goals we want to meet. And whenever you get working with the brand, that helps bring in, generate income for our family. So those of you who are, if you haven't, go check out my recent sponsored video, which was me talking about the pregnancy pillow. It may not be interesting to everyone, but um, just go click on it, watch it, comment, get some engagement for us. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, so my parents came. Shout out to my parents, man. Shout out to my parents. They are amazing. They came, uh, we came over on this side of Georgia to um, be with me. While Cody was out, um, you know, having a small baby and trying to maneuver that, all three, I was very anxious about that. Plus, I am not one to stay at home at night in the house by myself with my children. Like, no, 
Um, I've never been one to stay by myself in the house. Like, because even when, even when I had my, I can't believe it. I had my, I had a one bedroom apartment and I lived by myself, but I always had friends over. Like, I don't know the, I don't know how often I slept at my house by myself. It wasn't often. I always had a friend over spending the night with me because I did not like being by myself. It's very, very rare that I slept in that apartment by myself at night. Like extremely rare. I'm looking at a bug crawling on my ceiling and Cody in the back changing a baby. And I'm really trying to figure out it's real small, whatever it is. But what we're not going to do. He like over there. Why Why do we always say he? Why do we always give bugs the he gender? Like, why do we do that? By the way. I am you grateful. kill that bug? I am gra- that might be the same one. I am grateful. What's the same one? The one that was in our room. Here. That was on the wall. It looked like the same type. Um. You heard me no better. What? That um. Hey, 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 hey. You came in here with Kyle and you back, but you know, babe, I am. Okay. You need your boo boo. Did Daddy change you? But oh, it's twenty six of y'all. Y'all just even on it. Hey, hey, hey. Um. You're just watching. Um, I'm sorry for y'all upstairs neighbors. I apologize. You gonna sit up here? You finna get this word out. Cody with the body. Kill this you, you asked me to kill it. I don't know, but I'm just laughing because I'm gonna sit. Was it a lot of poop in there? No. Okay. I don't know why this sounds stuck in your head. For those of y'all who are watching, who are just coming in. Cody is currently killing a bug over here on this. You use a shoot. Yep. Anyway. I'm not about what, just what about it got on the clothes? Yep. A lot of it. Well, just knock it off. That's not the point. Um y'all know I can't multitask. Colin is literally eating my hand right now. Um, but Cody went out of town. Um, on a guy's trip and so we had content for a vlog but to be honest like it was going to be too much of him trying to rush and do that and so we just decided to go live once we got the boys settled Uh, so yeah Um, but we're just filling y'all in on just what we have going on like alright Kai I need my seat back here get I don't know where his passport is (laughs) Not me, I don't know where it's going to start. Actually, where was that? It might be in the um in the best net where you have it. Ah, it probably is. Be right back. I know Granny and Papa spoiled them babies real good this week. Yes. Always. Always. Rotten. So, y'all, the craziest thing happened. So. Oh, Lord. We're literally okay. So I have my goddaughter, she's 17, and she was with me pretty much all this weekend. And so Friday night, um, she came with me. I was out looking for jeans, which by the way, that was a fiasco. Did you find um, some? I haven't even tried them on yet. I bought some. Are you scared? Trouble? No, I just it's stuff been going on, I didn't have a t- chance to so. Okay. Um, but I realized there's a there's a there's a certain p- type of pant that I want that um, I'm gonna just have to order. I saw some online that I'm still gonna have to go ahead and order. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so y'all, so I had my goddaughter with me or whatever, and we were coming back from running some errands, and it was nighttime at this point. Um, I don't do much. I don't go out at night a lot. Um, without Cody. Um, but it was me and my god baby. We went out while it was still daytime and then by the time we got back it was dark. And before you dive too far in the story, I just want to say shout out to my father. We usually don't say in law, but so that y'all know who we're talking about. Shout out to dad. I appreciate you. Cause I wasn't here. But go ahead. So <laughs> we walk up and I'm always looking 
down on the ground. I'm looking up to see what's ahead of me so I can prepare myself or whatever. Mm -hmm. So we're walking up and I'm looking, I'm like, what is that? And I see something kind of like coiled up and kind of like on the side of the. Oh, no, no, what's it doing? <laughs> like, it was like like two feet away from our door and I said and I look I said that's a snake and I'm good at spotting snakes and frogs and she really is everything and a lot of people that ain't no snake I'm like yes it is I know it's a snake like I can tell the difference and so I'm looking and it was a baby snake um it wasn't like super tiny like a brand new baby snake it was probably it was a toddler Okay, it was a toddler. It's probably about three years old. <laughs> no, I said it because a three-year-old snake will be actually really long. Yes. But toddler phase, maybe it was like three months old. Dwayne said, run the lights up. Shout out to you, Dwayne Young. Run the lights up? Lights. Oh, thank you. I yeah. said the lights. I was like, is it not? It's dark. <laughs> um, no, lights. So yeah. anyway, I said, we were like sitting there and I was like, that's definitely a snake. And my goddaughter can't see because she'll never put her glasses on. So she's squinting, doing like this. <laughs> I'm like, it's a snake. She is always squinting. I'll be getting on her about that. So I'm like, what? What? Okay. So I'm like, well, I did not call my mom because my mom freaks out. She cannot stand lizards, frogs. Anything. She don't freak out about snakes as much as you would think she would like she's more terrified of lizards than she is snakes because uh, she just casually mentioned it to me in text message so you can't be terrified no <laughs> so I, I called my dad i said i called my mom and she didn't pick up called my dad he didn't pick up so i called my mom back and she finally picked up i said mom get a phone to dad she said oh okay i said dad he said yeah i said don't don't react loudly don't say anything I said, I need you to come outside. It's a baby snake out here. He said, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he got off the phone. And next you know, he see him come out with my Swiffer. <laughs> he took the, like, flat part off and just had the pole from the, the Swiffer. Pole, yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. Okay. So he comes out. And he was like, where's that? I said, it's right there. He said, oh, yeah, yeah. I see him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So he, like, standing right there. And so the snake is, like, kind of, like, just chilling like honestly we probably could have walked in the house right past it but who's gonna play them games like who's gonna take that risk not because then you might try to come in my house and, and that's the thing because we're not, not gonna that. do that we're not, doing that we're not gonna do that so it, it gets um so it's like it's like it's not completely coiled but it was like part of it was coiled and the other part of it was just kind of like mm -hmm. wavy if that mm -hmm. makes sense and so my dad said okay wait a minute i gotta see how i'm gonna do this because see he said, I don't know how fast he's gonna be. And I'm like, yeah, that's true, because snakes are fast. So I was like, okay. So next thing I know, <laughs> my dad gets it. Well, my dad kind of like kind of moves it a little bit. And then he, he go, mm, 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 mm. he's like, trying to get the head, trying to get the head, get the head. If I get the head, then I get him. So he just keep hitting it and finally. I said, he said, okay. He said, well, he dead now. No, for anything else. I got the head. I got the head real good. And so me and my goddaughter just sitting there looking like, and then in the midst of this commotion, of course, I'm screaming. So then our neighbor comes out and he's like, he said, I didn't hear what he said because I was loud at the time. And he said, some of my dad mother said, no, I ain't going to do that. No, no. He said, because see, but the little ones, you don't know how much, he said, you don't know how much venom they're gonna let out they don't know how to they're too small to let out venom like man, sorry they're control they don't know how to control their venom and they're they're more poisonous because <laughs> <Gabby. laughs> <laughs> she knows she probably you know, visualized you know how the my daddy yeah did. so then the neighbor was like um he said oh yeah the babies they don't know then my neighbor looks he says yeah the lady over there she said one got in her house oh, over in the other building i'm like why would you tell me that sir why would you tell me that i don't need to know that and he's like, yeah, about a couple years ago, I saw one real long, just right over here, coiled up. I'm looking at him like, you're not helping. You're not. Just keep stuff to yourself, brother. Please. He's keep super sweet. We love our yeah, neighbor, but I was just people, like, yeah. you're not, you're not helping. You're not helping so my dad gets there. He just bang. I mean, he got the stew out of that snake. And then he kind of like tossed it over. Cause it was dark at night and like we like the back part of our apartment our apartment is like facing the woods which i don't like 
that about the back of it is yeah we as she anyway and so i was like so we get back in the house and of course i'm in my head like but i got over it but we were laughing because my mama kept saying what was what what was she said what was that now your dad had to do all that what was that i said mama don't worry about what it is and then so you see her eyes all big she's trying to picture what it is she's like is it was it was it a a, a lizard i said no mama a frog? I said, no, mama. She said, no, it wasn't a frog because you wouldn't have been freaking out yeah, about no, the you frog. Wouldn't, you wouldn't have called that outside. I said, no, mama. It's okay. Says, what was it, a raccoon or something? I said, <laughs> no, mama. Was it a mouse? I said, sure. She was like, and she just looked. She... So the next morning, I get up and I end up, my goddaughter ended up going home that night and I she was supposed to take the ACT. And so I got up the next morning and was getting ready to go get stuff for breakfast. My daddy had already went and got stuff. I was like, okay, whatever. So I was like, I'm going back out on another gene hunt. So I'm going to pick him up. Girl, Tiffy say, I'm with you and your mama. Exactly. With you, yeah. mama, about snakes and lizards. Bro. She can't stand them. I don't like them, but I'm not afraid of them. Now, my thing is bees and wasps. Now, context about frogs is when we, we've been living over here for a while, and when we first got over here, you saw them every night, frogs. So you you just got used to them. Mm -hmm. And I kept telling her, I was like, babe, they're not going to hop on you. They always hop away. Like, they're trying to get away from you. And over time, she saw that for herself. So now she'll go up to a frog. Get out of here. <laughs> Stomping at the back so it can hop away. Yeah. Um, But that's, we see them all the time. Um, But yeah, so yeah. I was like, okay. So I got up that morning, or whatever, and I was like, I'm going to buy some snake away. Because who's going to play with this? Who's going to play? That's what Gabby just said, too. Snake away. Girl, I got some snake away. So. And it smelled terrible out there. It smelled like straight mothballs. So I went to the hardware. We literally have a hardware store across the street from my house. So um, I got up and I went and got that or whatever. And my daddy emptied that entire bag. And it's a lot. You got I didn't a big realize. Bag? It was a, it was like a mid-sized bag. Oh. I didn't realize that he was gonna do the whole bag. And honestly, he and I didn't know like what's the appropriate amount. What I do know is, you can smell it when you get out the car in the parking lot. I was gonna say just a little bit, really, because I've seen Pop do it at church. It's like you just put a little bit on this door, go to that, put a little bit right there, put a little no, bit. No, Pop be shaking. I mean, he, I've seen him do like a good old handful. So I don't know. Yeah. And that's not something, but, but. What? Is it granddaddy long leg? So I don't want it above my head. You or move? the baby. You gonna move the line? Y'all hold no pause. Cody finna kill this bug real quick. Baby, you can't say pause. Either we move, either No, I'm we... saying like hold on a second. I'm about to move over here so Cody can kill this spider and then I'm gonna come back. Peppermint and cinnamon oil spray keep bees and wasps away. I heard that. All right here, babe. Get him. Will you babe. put it at get him? Okay, hold on, y'all. We just the way. Oh, glory to God! These bugs are just out right now. Put it up on Okay, hold on. I'm gonna be off camera for a second. No, I, I'm finna move it over here. <laughs> Look at me, baby. There you go. All right. We good, babe? Go ahead. Anyway, so he's a sweet boy. So, um. Yeah, no, I can't focus. Alexa, stop. Okay, Gabby, I'm gonna have to ask you about that. Like, how I need to do the spray it on my body. Like, what do I need to do? Spray it on my car because who's gonna play with these? I heard about the fake wasp nest. I'm about to buy them off of Amazon. Don't fall, Cody. If you fall, that's it. Now, Cody's killing this bug right now. Sorry, y'all. Those of you who are always coming in, we're in the process of killing a bug. See, I'm trying to get in. Well, Cody's in the process of killing a bug. I'm in the process of watching. That one's too short. Yeah. It is going to take me a little deeper. Can they see my foot? Yeah. I might need you to. Yeah. You can't do that, can you? You can't touch my back, can you? No, you can't. 
too far away. Go ahead. No, I need you. Not my book. Back. I feel money back. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm trying to get up here because I'm too short. Oh Lord. It's not going. Right. I'm not going to miss that. Thank Just putting your knee up there gives you more height. Yeah, no, I'm still too short. I just want to jump on the couch. Just hop up there. I know, but I'm saying, you know, I'd be missing them. So if I'm high enough, oh, babe, get that plate right there. You see? I wish I could say. <laughs> oh, Lord. Where'd it go? Right Are you sure it's in the bottom of the shoe? I'm looking at it. Bae? I'm looking at it, Bae. <laughs> okay, y'all. Now, hold, hold on. on. Hold on. What? Keep talking if I'm right there for a second. Oh, Colin, you got boogers up there. Yeah. Hmm? Keep talking from right there. Anyway, so my dad literally emptied the entire snake away bag. And in my head, I'm thinking that that bag was almost $20. And knowing me, I'm going to buy a bag every week. So we could have did half need, the bag. I need you to Google how long steak away lasts first. Well, the thing said, um, you gotta like when the smell stops getting potent, that's when you need to, or after like a fresh rain, you need to buy a new one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we need to already have one in the house. All right, bet. <laughs> I'm not gonna play with these snakes. No, I'm saying we already need to have a bag in the house. That oh, yeah, after a fresh rain, you, we yeah. can just. Put it out there. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, give give him back to me. I'm so sweet and soft and squishy. There's 31 of y'all in here. Shut up. He's so sweet yeah. and soft and squishy. Mm. Okay. He's a squishy baby. Yeah. He's a squishy, squishy, squishy. Okay. You can come back over here with me. I'll move the camera back. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, babe. Oh, squishy baby. Tiffy. Oh, Gabby said, oh I throw gosh. out real cinnamon sticks. Oh, really? She said, I spray it all on the, Gabby said, I spray it all on the wall and around the door. I place out centronella plants, too. Bees and wasps. Oh, I need, and you, and do you really like, does you notice like you don't see them and everything? What about they around your car and stuff? What do you recommend for your car? I live in Texas. All my life, and we have ghetto crooks here. Used to be a gecko or two above the front door at night. One time I threw a twig at him and he threw it back. I'm done. I'm I am done. weak. My mama would faint. <laughs> she would faint. But you know, you, your brother showed us these doggone spiders overseas, and when he was on uh, on tour overseas, <laughs> no, that, even the spiders in Arizona when he was out in the, in the field in Arizona. But he said it's so hot when he was when he was deployed. He said it's so hot. They chase you, but not to come after you. They, want to they chase you shadow. to stay in your shadow because it's so hot. Yes, girl. Them lizards. Oh, yeah. Your mama don't like lizards either. Uh-uh. She's Gabby said they go away. She said they go away, girl. That's what she said. Oh, okay, Gabby. Yeah, you put me on game. Cause Look, T Bell said, I hate watchman bees with a passion. Meek said fresh rain would be every other day. <laughs> Said Centronella rich mosquitoes too. They sure enough do. They sure do. They in those like off sprays and stuff like that. I ain't playing with these bugs this season. In this season. Anyway, I had to grit my teeth because I'm proud of myself though because I've come a long way. Like I've gotten a lot better, but I because I wouldn't go outside. Like who who? Gabby said I couldn't have my baby getting stung. That's what she said. No. They disrespectful. 
Yo, I done got stung in the most awkward places. I had one wash fly up my dress and stung, sting me on my right butt cheek. Y'all, you're not going to tell the story, are you? We were at a friend's house at the time. They invited us for something. I don't even remember why. This girl almost took her dress off in front of everyone. You, we were standing outside. And I had to stop her from taking her dress off and run her inside to the bathroom because <laughs> she almost panicked and took just took the dress off because we all knew the the wasp or whatever it was flied under there. Flied under there. Yep. I, I said what I said. Flew under there. <laughs> so um, she was about to take everything off. Be like, uh-uh, I ain't messing with you in front of everybody. Oh, snakes or cat. You don't like caterpillars? They're so fluffy. I don't fool with them, but yeah. I used to play with them when I was little. That and roly poly oly. Yep. Roly poly. Well, not oly. That's from Disney. But roly poly. I got you. He's a roly poly. Which one of y'all in here sneaking up the hallway? (laughs) Uh, That turned into mama real quick. Uh. Yeah, don't do snakes or okay. cats. But yeah, yeah, so um, but yeah, so he emptied the, pretty much the whole bag, and so uh, our neighbor who had saw it the night before, he said, "Y'all haven't seen any more snakes, have you?" He said, "No." Um, I said, "But I put, I said, if you don't mind, I bought some snake away. You don't mind if we put it on?" He was like, "Oh no." But my dad ended up only putting it on our side of the building, so there's that. But yeah, you but can smell it. It's gonna keep them jokes away I, from this whole <laughs> part of the I complex. I talked to one of our neighbors upstairs. One of our friends were upstairs. And um, I said, girl, I told her, I said, girl, we had to put some snake away. She said, I would wonder what that smell was. I said, oh, yeah, that's like the school I said. <laughs> I said, it smell like my mom's, but baby, one thing it's going to do is keep them snakes away. It sure is. It's going to keep them snakes away. It's going to keep them away from here. I wonder why snakes don't like that smell. I don't know. But oh, do, 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 do. I need them. I need them to not, to continue not to like that smell. Because yeah, I'm like, strong, y'all. see, dad, I don't know if dad is afraid. Apparently he not, but he doesn't like like he wasn't happy to come. Well, I won't say he wasn't happy. He was fine with coming out there, but I could tell that it wasn't something that he was comfortable killing like a, a bug. Like, but y'all, he had to strategize on that. I can't stand him, and I have a fear of him. But it's like it's almost a how do you explain it? It's almost a sense of duty if my family is out there by a snake. Yeah, I feel like I don't have no choice. But to step up to the plate, and I, I, I'd be terrified. There was one baby snake. I'll never forget it. We were at our other apartment. This was some years ago. I took a broom, y'all. I brushed that snake all the way to the to the parking lot, and Tam ran over it with the. Baby. Oh, is that what you did? I can't remember how we got it to the parking lot. I told Mama about it. I took a broom it. and I swept that snake. I took an a old broom. I swept that snake all the way to the parking lot, and then Tam ran over it. You ran over it a couple of times too. We yeah, made but, sure he was no, flat. Yeah, but you the, you was the one that made sure he. And Carson said he's gonna be flat. <laughs> sure, you know. So, um, we was not playing with that snake. No, we weren't. Um, yeah. but it's been an interesting. A week to say the least, and that an interesting weekend. And it was my first weekend away from Cody like that. Yeah. And with all three of the kids. And thankfully my parents came, but it was still weird. Like, well, yeah, I, I don't like sleeping without my husband. Well, and I'll say this: this is the this 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 was the first weekend that I was away. Usually you're away. And it's still awkward because you still don't want to be, you know. Like I said, and it's awkward for me. Well, you, That's why I usually have. Before. I know it's been a while. Though, yeah, it's been saying. a minute. But I. That's why usually, if I'm here, um, the boys are in the bed with me. Usually, they were in the bed with me too. Oh, I know. Mom sent me a video. They was in the bed. I said, um, "Y'all come in here and lay with me." Because yeah, it's weird just being in that whole big old bed by yourself. That bed is humongous. Um, and... But yeah, this is the first time I've went away in a while. For a couple of days, anyway, be gone. Um, yeah, you were gone. It's needed, though. I'll tell y'all what. It is needed. Refresh, recharge, come back at it. Mm-hmm. Try it, try it again. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. I was saying, I said, everybody should do this. You should go on a vacation with your family, like your, and what I mean by your family is husband, wife, children, like yeah, everybody going on a vacation. And then you may go on one with your extended family, mom, dad, auntie's going to come, maybe cousins here and there, what you should yeah, find somewhere. And then you go just you and your spouse go somewhere and then you and your girls are like you and your guys go somewhere. I think, I think if you do, and that's, that's like four vacations a year, but it don't have to be super expensive. I need like three vacations with my husband only. <laughs> and like two with my girls. See, and, I, and two with my kids. See, I was trying to, I was trying to make it, um, and I was really, I was talking to my boys who, the one who the trip really was about, because it was really his like belated birthday trip. They go on for him and his wife go on vacations with their family, like mom, dad, siblings, like so. But yeah, I love my parents, but we can't vacation with them. Well, we've done it before. We've so. done it. We've done it a lot. Probably, we've done it a lot over the past ten years, but. We've just come to terms with the fact that we do better with them doing their own thing and we do our own thing. Because we just travel differently. Like, yeah. we just travel differently. It's comical. The reasons why we can't travel. It's, it's very, hilarious. It's very yeah. comical. It's not. It's, but not, it's not something that yeah. we wouldn't. It's not something that we wouldn't do. Um, Where are these bugs? Look at that. The what? bugs on the light right there. I don't see it. It's not something that we wouldn't do like oh, in the future, like if we plan a net. big family trip, but like like intentionally going, we're gonna do this trip with like it's like it's okay. Y'all go and we'll see y'all. Yeah, we said heavy on most vacations being with self slash spouse. That's another thing, going on vacation by yourself. Now I'm not doing that. See, I can't do it by myself, but spouse, heavy, heavy, heavy. Now, I would go, like, some people think it's awkward to, like, go out to dinner by yourself or go to a movie by yourself. I could do that all day long, personally, because I... I'm not a big... Tra I don't do trout, so... Yeah. I just feel like, even if you want to make it about yourself, like, go with someone, but, like, go out and do what you want to do. But, like, the travel part... Oh, I got a question. It is... Um, I don't want to... Um, Forget it. It was inspired by your um. It was inspired by your moment earlier, Bay, mm -hmm. when you saw that you were ashy, because we had this. Me and my boys had this moment this weekend. So, is it? Which we're gonna. I wasn't part of this moment. Y'all get. Y'all get it in a second. Is it? Um. Do you do you put on lotion? Before going to the beach. Bay. Are you asking me? I'm asking. Well, say, anybody can answer. I ain't going to be out there asking. But here's the thing, though. When you get sand on you from far away, you it don't look on. no different. And if you put on lotion, it's going to stick to the lotion. That's true. Well, I do sunscreen. And yeah, that kind of gets you oily. Yeah, that's true. So, By the way, I would Y'all are inspiring. If I was young and prepping for marriage, I would take into account much of the wisdom that you impart. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It was actually one of our things we prayed for when we got married. It was like, Lord, allow us to eventually be an example. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Lord showed us that we have a ministry, like a ministry for, we didn't realize it was going to be our YouTube yeah. channel, but. Right. He showed it to us. Nobody know me. Nobody. Nobody know me. Nobody know me. Nobody know me. Even if I'm even though I try it, won't look in my eyes, you know I'm lying. I don't know the words. Nobody know me. 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 That's a gnat. I ain't worried about that. It's still a bug. But yeah. <laughs> so 
So this was an interesting this today has been interesting because I literally got home from being on the road and we immediately went to Cineholic almost. Like y'all were getting ready to go when I walked in the door. Um which as y'all can see I can't get enough of shit this for my them brain. them doggone um cinnamon rolls slapped. I am this so I just got finished filming something for the vlog, which I guess it'll go out tomorrow. It'll go out someday this week. But um, I'm meal prepping and mm -hmm. trying a soft, a soft uh, sugar detox. Hmm. Um, Proud of you. But the Lord gave me instructions. No fast food, no fried food. And mm -hmm. lower my sugar intake. And I'm going to start seeing a difference in my body. Y'all are troopers. When I had newborns, I went to bed early, 8 p.m. and woke up and woke up to wake, wake up, up and five hours. Out. So okay, so that sounds like fantastic. Um, if he would go to bed at eight and stay asleep. Yeah. We yeah. Till 8 30, he like, uh, what a party yet. Shoot. Um, 11 30 he up like. So so the way his schedule works, so uh, first of all. 8 p.m. is not realistic for us as a family just because our boys don't get to bed until 9, yeah. 9.15. Um, because, unfortunately, our children have picked up. They have a trait that we have. We are night owls. Yeah. Cody's a night owl. I'm a night owl. My mom is a night owl. So, naturally, like, going to bed at, like, 9 o'clock is, like, early for us. For some people, that's like, oh, 9.30. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so exhausted. For us, we start getting really tired, like, around 11, 11.30. Um, and so Kylan, um, it works out for us because technically if you are getting to bed at eight or nine, you're waking back up at 12. Like for us, 1230. Mm. Her next comment. No, my husband was up with the baby. We took shifts. Ah. Oh. Yep. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. Got we you. we low key do that without trying. Without realizing it, yeah. Because I'll have Kylan, like Cody will give Carson a bath. I'll have Kylan from like 8.30 to like 11.30, just naturally. Like he's just back there with me. Cody's doing whatever he's doing. Um, half the time he'd be doing random stuff. Or I'll just have him and we'll be in the back watching TV or something. But Kylan, um, he gets a feeding around between 11, 8.30 and 9.30. Mm -hmm. So that was the feeding he had right before we got on here. And then he'll eat again. His last feeding is usually in anywhere between 1130 and 1230. So he'll eat again. And then he goes to sleep. He could fall asleep between 1230. Well, it depends because it depends if he eats more around 1130, he'll fall asleep more around 1230. If he eats more at the tail end of that window, which is like 1230, then he'll probably fall asleep around 130. And, but then he stays asleep for the rest of the night. And if it's something like tonight, and usually with that through that last feeding, I'm the one that has him most nights. Um, but through um if it's like tonight, I can already tell it's gonna get to that last feeding. He probably still gonna be asleep. He's gonna eat it and stay asleep. That's usually if he's already asleep, he'll eat it and stay asleep. The only issue sometimes is if he's awake and he eat it. It can be hit or miss because sometimes he'll either eat it and be like gone or he'll eat it and be like, hey, dad, hello. Like, boy, if you don't take your tail to sleep. But honestly, like it's not often every mm -hmm. blue moon. No, he'll yeah. have a rough night where he's up. He can't go to sleep like he's just up and he wants to play. Mo yeah. But for the most part, Kylan sleeps. He goes to bed at the latest. I mean, and this is worst case scenario. The latest would be like 2 a.m. Yeah. But he'll sleep all the way through the night um and then one is and then the shift starts back over with me when he gets because he sleeps next to me in the bassinet mm -hmm. so if he wakes up in the middle of the night like i'm the one that that'll get up and when i say wake up i mean whimper he yeah. whimpers i'll pop the passy back in his mouth and he goes back to sleep yeah yeah he does good and part of it is because once like we wake up in the morning tim gets and feeds him He's then he's playing for about an hour and then he's with me while I'm here at work and we have a routine. So mm -hmm. he's pretty much on a routine all day long. Like he never gets off of it, which is beautiful because um, that way he can stay on it. 
throughout the night. Um, so he'll wake up, you know, eat, play till about eight thirty, and then all of a sudden he starts crying. I know, okay, he's sleepy. I'll put him to sleep, and then I'll, you know, get a get a good bit of work done. Three hours later, he's hungry again. Um, so we have him on a routine at night and throughout the day. So that's helped a whole lot too. Um, but y'all, we had a, we had, um, I think they knew the, I want to say the mom of the couple knew Tam. You'll know who I'm talking about when I finish it. I commended them so much on their routine mm-hmm. because they had their kids in bed like clockwork at 630. And I'm talking about baby around Kaiser, if not a little older and a little less than Carson. I'm talking about young, young kids at 630. Knocked out and didn't get back up. I think she said they got back up at like six. Uh huh. I was like, how? <laughs> I mean, Look, what? Uh-huh. I don't even, I don't even know. And I, we, we witnessed it. We were at their house. Like It was like five. They was like, yeah, we're getting them ready for bed. I was like, or like, I think we were all sitting in the living room talking and an alarm came off and it was six o'clock and it was like, okay, ready for bed. And I think the wife got up and went back there and, um, and I was just like, oh, how? I don't even know if I want my kids to go to bed that early Not just that early. because I'm going to be like, the house is too quiet and I'll be scared that they'll wake up at like two in the morning like, hi, what we doing? Uh-uh. Cody Jr., if my kids get too much sleep, they will wake up in the middle. Like if they go to bed at, let's say they fall asleep at 8.30, 45, 9 o'clock on the dot. Because usually at 9 o'clock is when they're winding down. Between 9.15, 9 9.30, they're falling asleep. If they go to sleep any earlier than that, they are up. Cody Jr. will get up at like 5 in the morning, 4 in the morning, and just be up watching TV, drawing. I'm like, sir, we yeah. had to get, train him. He doesn't, he used to wake the house up, but now he stays Put. Yeah, we were in an Airbnb this weekend, and I thought I said, "Okay, get to sleep in this weekend." I, I I did get some good sleep, but it's like you get to sleep in, and my body, no lie, no matter what time we went to bed, woke up like clockwork at eight o'clock, eight fifteen, no alarm, because we made it a point not to set one, like no alarm, but was up eight thirty, eight fifteen, which really is sleeping in if you think about it, because we wake up earlier than that throughout the week. But um, it's just like to her, but it's like we get too much sleep. My body is like, nope. Unless, Nobody won't let me. Unless there is like, it's usually one Saturday out of the month where I don't, I, I don't know if you just look at me and you just leave me alone. Saturday morning. But I be sleep to about one. Yeah, I just be like, be okay, well, clearly he's still sleeping. Gone. It's a, it's a one o'clock later. So. Do y'all like how babies smell? I love how they. Mm-hmm. They smell like baby. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I was gonna cut all my hair off, and he wasn't gonna recognize me. And then I forgot I was bald when he was born. Yeah. I just grew Very it back. Bald. I just grew it back. What a baldy daddy. Carson. Carson does not like it. <laughs> he said, "You're bald again." <laughs> Carson does not like it. But then he'll come up to me and do this. <laughs> uh, look, got her musings. God bless you. Thank you for responding. Of course. Of course. That's we, what we're here for. We go live to talk to y'all. We if, try y'all best, if y'all yeah. didn't if y'all didn't say nothing, we wouldn't have nothing to talk about. We try our best to respond to Can everybody. Put a broom, a snake, and a uh-huh. laughing emoji. Yep. I swept it to the parking lot. Tam ran over it. Granted, he was, he, he was dead by the time I got him to the parking lot, but that's not the point. Tam was like, let, let us make sure. Maybe I ran up him so many times because we were headed to the pool. We were. I ran, I said, mm, mm, mm. I bet that thing up on him. I said, what we're not going to do. Pause. Bang. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> you ran uh, face first into that. <sighs> <laughs> I backed the tire up on the snake. Perfect. 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 <laughs> you are so annoying. You still here, so it's all good. Oh, really? 
Yeah, you know what? I can't even act like I didn't know that. Yeah, you yeah. got some YouTubers that act like you don't exist. And I'm like, y'all do realize that without the people watching that you don't have a channel. Like, yeah, the least you can do is acknowledge their comment. Like, now, what are we doing? It would be hard if we were live and it was 800 people and the comments yeah. are going like this. Then yeah. it would be difficult. We, we would probably try to go back and comment on a good bit of them but it would be really hard to... and there's been times in the past where i have, might have a live on my other channel that like it's 70 80 people in there and sometimes comments do get missed i had one girl i'm, I'm not even going i'm not even going to you'd be surprised um like I, I've always done my best to respond. Even if I don't mm -hmm. respond to every single one of a certain person's comment, you I would at least respond to at least one of your comments. If you've commented like seven or eight times and there's already like 30 people commenting all at the same time, mm -hmm. then I may not be able to get to every single comment you make, but I'm going to at least acknowledge you yeah. at least once or twice throughout the live. Now, one like this where it's not as many people, yeah, you comment, we're going to see it. We're going to say something. And two, like this. Now, if you say some crazy, I, my ignore game is so strong, baby. Yes. I, I like I, I, I like I ain't see it. But it's people like asking inappropriate questions. Twenty plus people on here, it's like, but twenty plus people aren't commenting. No, it's only a select, you know. Yeah, because it was up to thirty some earlier. Yeah, it's only a select. Yeah, it keeps fluctuating back and forth. But it's only a select number of people. That's maybe ten people. I know what it feels like to really connect with a YouTuber mm -hmm. and like comment and want them to respond and they act like you don't exist it's not a good feeling yeah so i don't want my subscribers and or my viewers because not everybody who, who's watching is a subscriber mm -hmm. but i feel like you gain subscribers by making them feel loved and welcome mm -hmm. on your channel mm -hmm. somebody might say uh and then they come on a live or they comment on something and you respond back and they're like oh they they're acknowledging me mm -hmm. i want to subscribe now so You have to be it good stewards over your viewers and good stewards over your subscribers. So it means a lot. All right, y'all. Well, as y'all can see, I'm sleepy. I've already showered for tonight, so. Okay. So we're good. Mm. I'm gonna take. I'm about. I don't know what I'm about to do. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> You're gonna go to sleep. I need to finish unpacking my suitcase because I didn't get a chance to do that when we first got here. Um, and we've we've been doing better, babe, because usually we'll get back mm -hmm. and our suitcase will stay with clothes in it for like a month. Mm -hmm. And then my oh, we probably should. And have no, it, it, it ain't that. It's time to go with, somewhere again. Like, uh, Hi, Brittany. But I was literally just sitting here thinking about you. I have to text you about something. But you know, um, I was gonna say we don't just we don't just sit it there though. We will um if we need an outfit that we know is in the suitcase, we'll just get it out of the suitcase <laughs> and put it on. But Tony's voice puts me in sleep. Yeah. He gets so mad because we'll be in a deep conversation and then it'll be his turn to talk I was, and I'll yeah. literally fall asleep because his voice like soothes me. Y'all, Tam will go on a 30 minute soliloquy monologue. All of that about whatever it is, good, bad, indifferent, or whatever. And as soon as I start responding, I feel like, like okay, You're like good night. Me and Colin took like a little. Well, Colin napped more than I did. I was trying to go to sleep, but like it was just a lot going on trying to nap today. So it was weird. So I appreciate that y'all interact on live and later recordings. It makes me feel like we really know each other. It's still kind of new to me. As a boomer, YouTube is the only social media that I use. Yeah. Aww. Well, I'm glad that you're here. You've been a subscriber for a while and absolutely. you're always commenting and showing love. So of course we're gonna respond. Like absolutely. And YouTube is a um is a good social media if it's the only one. Yeah. And y'all, I've really like made actual friends on this like i've met a few of my subscribers in person yeah um i'm gonna be meeting Brittany right here Brittany figure i'm gonna be meeting her in person and like what is it like two weeks Brittany? something like that um like oh tracy daisy i didn't even see her 
Yes, you always reply to my, my comments, comments on, on IG, IG, and I, I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yay, I do. I try. I really do try to, y'all. I really do. Like, because, I mean. I can't wait yet, to. Yeah, like, saying. Hope. Y'all have seen Hope on here. She's one of my moderators. Like, she and I are, like, practically best friends. Like, we talk almost every day. And when we don't talk, we're like, girl, where you been? Mm -hmm. um, so, like. It's just it. I mean, I don't know. All right, Shirley. It's like a gnat flying around here. TV grandma said my real name is Shirley, like one of Miss Jenkins' friends. Oh, come on, Shirley. Sure, <laughs> Shirley. Sure. You, you gonna wake them oh. up? Said the new begin. I love your love. Keep on loving. God bless you. Come on now. Aww. Thank you. Thank you. Um. But I've been trying to respond on Instagram yeah. too because like I know what it's like. Like I have a couple of my favorite YouTubers that I honestly I reached out to them on Instagram and they responded. Now a couple of them took a while to finally respond to me yeah. because they're like much bigger platform than I am. So they probably don't see them. But like one of my favorite actually one of my favorite YouTubers that my mom actually introduced me. Um two years ago because she was like oh they remind me so much of you and cody and i ended up following her on instagram and i just started like commenting i think what it was was i tagged her in something and she like reshared it she it reshared it and commented and i was like oh <laughs> um that's how i connected with ej i reached out to her and it's funny because there's a lot of like there's a lot of um influence, a lot of influencers that I follow, um, and ones that I feel connected to, and Holy Spirit will literally give me instructions on how to reach out to them. Um, because I'm not one to do like a lot of like fangirl and like, oh my god, like you know, I just I've never been that type of person. But like Holy Spirit would be like, He'll tell me to reach out to certain people because I'd be like, I'm not finna reach out to them because for them to ignore my comment or ignore mm -hmm. me, uh-uh. And not for me to be feeling rejected. No, I'm good. <laughs> like, I'll just continue watching their content and liking it from afar. Yeah. But yeah, I reached out to EJ. This was some years ago because we've, we've known each other for a while now. But I reached out to her on Instagram and she responded. Like, I was shocked because EJ is pretty big on Instagram and YouTube. And on Instagram, at around the time where I reached out to her, like, her page was, like, blowing up. And so I was shocked when she responded to me. I was not expecting her to respond to me. I was just doing what the Lord told me to do. Um, so uh, our, the other YouTuber, I reached out to her on Instagram, tagged her, whatever she responded. And then like literally every time I respond to her, she responds back. And I just be like, um, there's another YouTuber, like one of my, my absolute favorite YouTuber in the world. Like, I literally watch her YouTube channel like a TV show. You do? My breath stink? Oh. Oh, you just took like a deep breath. Like, um, but anyway, and so I I've actually met her in person and it's crazy. Like, I I when I first started watching her channel, I felt connected to her. Like I was like, I'm supposed to meet her. I'm supposed to I'm supposed to know her on a personal level. You what? What? You said I'm supposed to know her. I'm, I'm supposed to know her. I'm supposed <laughs> to meet her. I said what I said. I'm supposed to meet her um, and know her on a personal level. And at the time, she was living in like several states over, and then she moved to Georgia. And I was like, mm -hmm. what the heck, Lord? Like, you, this really must supposed to happen. And it just so happened. Like, it's it's weird how it all happened. And it's still happening. Uh, the Lord has showed me some things concerning it. But, like, I've been chill about it because what I'm not going to do is, like, be creepy and be like, hey, what's what, like. But I have, I did get to meet her in person. And um, she's a super dope person. Super sweet. Um, I love her content. Um, love, 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 love her content. But um, anyway, yeah, so um, there's another 
YouTube couple that we met, another big, big YouTube couple that um, we met, and they're pretty cool too. So like the Lord has been connecting us with people, but it's just been so crazy. Why did I bring this up? YouTubers responding to comments. Yes. Yeah. And so I said that to say, like, I've had some people that I've responded to that just literally didn't respond. Now, I will say, depending on what platform. So, like, on YouTube, you pretty much see every comment. Um, you just may not respond to all of them if it's a lot. On Instagram, it's different because if you do not follow that person, then they're, if they message you or, like, respond to something in your story, you won't see it. You won't see it unless, like, you'll have to go over to your requested. So there's like a, if I don't follow you, but you follow me, you can message me all day long. But unless I go check my requested messages, where it shows that someone is requested to message you, then, and you don't know that you're requesting to message me, you're just sending a message. But on my end, because I don't follow you, it's showing me, oh, so and so requested to message you and you click on it and then you can respond. And once you respond, then it'll automatically show you their messages moving forward. Good night. Dwayne. Well, if I don't know, good night, have a blessed week. If I don't know that you've messaged me or if I don't realize that I have requested messages, then I'm going to not, I'm not going to see your message. And, or if I'm very popular influencer and I have hundreds of thousands of followers, I may have 70 requested messages and it may be overwhelming to check it. So, it, it can be a lot. I try to check my requested as often as possible. Most of the time I see it, but there are times where I look up, I'm like, oh, shoot, I got two requested messages. Um, But I said all that to say, like, in those situations, it's a little bit different. But on YouTube, yeah. like, you can see everything. So, and it can be hard. Some people pull away from the comment section. And they just don't respond to anybody because they feel like like they have negative comments and stuff. And they're like, to keep myself from getting frustrated, mm -hmm. I'm just not going to read the comments at all. And then that way. But it's kind of hard because now you don't get to engage with the people that really do love you. Mm -hmm. TP says, I love EJ. She's so funny, especially when she's she is hilarious. Mm -hmm. She is absolutely hilarious. She's just like, funny as a person. In general. <laughs> like, she is hilarious. I love her. Two pieces. Super sweet, super humble. Um, and she's like literally one of my role models. Like I look up to her when it comes to this comedy thing. So anyway, y'all, we're gonna go because I can keep running my mouth. Mm -hmm. Uh uh. So very tired. So we're gonna see y'all. You ain't gonna see nobody with your eyes closed. And then it <laughs> <laughs> we'll see y'all in the next, next video. video. Bye. Love y'all. Have a good week. <laughs>